so hello guys welcome in this video we'll see what all things a second mate must look after in a hospital so let's start so whenever you take over as a second mate first thing you will do is inspection so as you can see over here this is what i have been handed over in my hospital so first thing is we'll start doing the arrangements and then we'll continue further So after doing the arrangements then we'll take inventory of our medicines. So this is only one time job so whenever you join on board take a proper inventory of your medicines. Then update your medical inventory log. Keep it with yourself and also keep one log in your hospital. Now we'll continue with further checks which we have to do in a hospital. So starting with requirements in hospital. So there have been previously a remark that hospital stretcher placard was missing. So mostly on ships you will find Neil Robertson stretcher. So that's why I've pasted this placard. So make sure you have that placard with the arrangements how to deploy the stretcher. So make sure you have that pasted in the hospital. Now there have been remarks that the hospital room fridge temperature was not maintained. So as you can see over here, I have maintained a list for fridge temperature as well as hospital room temperature. So it is not asked by all PSE. In Black Sea, normally they will ask for fridge temperature of hospital, but some port in Brazil they also want you to maintain records for room temperature. So I maintain for both of them. So if I have to show you in my fridge, make sure in your fridge you have a thermometer. So these are two different examples on my two different ships. So you can see I have kept a thermometer to show the records. Always make sure you have a thermometer in fridge. Second, if you'll see that my fridge temperature is normally between 10 to 15 and room temperature is between 20 to 25. So these are the temperature limits normally. So if I have to show you in. So here you can see they have written the range of 2 to 30 degree. So try to keep this medicine between 2 and 30 degree Celsius. And same here they have written do not store more than 30 degree Celsius. So, so like this on every medicine you will find this temperature ranges. Some medicines will write that. Uh, keep it away from moisture such but what i have seen is on most of the medicine the least i've seen is 25 degrees celsius that's on the liquids basically on these liquids i've seen that do not store about 25 degrees celsius on this liquid and so is the case on the other liquid as well here also you can see they have written that do not store more than 25 degree celsius so that is the reason i'm maintaining the temperature of 20 to 25 degree celsius in hospital room that's how you have to at least show it on your paper now as per mfag of imdg code it is a requirement that if you have a non-portable oxygen cylinder bottle then you must have two flow meters capable of supplying oxygen to two percent so now as you can see over here presently on my ship i do not have such facility of two flow meters so i will request for two flow meters and then i will install it over here in my hospital so now after ordering them and I've received this, so these are two flow meters which I've received and I've installed them in my hospital. That's my oxygen supply coming from my oxygen bottle. And these are two flow meters which I've requested. So make sure you have this facility in your hospital. You must have two flow meters in your hospital as per MFAG of MDG. That's my one mask and that's my second mask. At the same time, I can supply oxygen to two people. So just to show you a different example, you can see over here on my different ship here in this hospital, we already had the connections for flow meter. It was just that only one flow meter was connected at that time. The second flow meter was kept in spare. So in your PSC inspection, at least you must know where your flow meter is connected because one of my PSC inspector asked me to show it to him that whether we had the connections or not. So generally. I would always keep the second flow meter also connected. So that's how your flow meter shall be there always. So next, every one month we must do an inspection of our medical oxygen bottle and its connection. So here our flow meter is fully rusted and painted. So even if we wanted to control our oxygen flow, we won't be able to. So hence we are going to replace this old flow meter with new flow meter. So as you can see over here, I have replaced my old flow meter which was rusted with the new flow meter so monthly inspect your medical oxygen bottle and its connection that's it so now in PSE there have been a one more remark that 
मेडिसिन्स वेर नॉट डिस्क्राइब्ड इन इंग्लिश लैंग्वेज दे वेर रिटर्न इन सम अदर लैंग्वेज एग्जाम्पल यू कैन सी ओवर हियर सो वेन एवर यू रिसीव मेडिसिन इफ यू रिसीव योर मेडिसिन इन सम पोर्ट ऑफ इंडोनेशिया और अर्जेंटीना यू विल सी दैम दैट दे आर रिटर्न इन देयर लोकल लैंग्वेज एज यू कैन सी ओवर हियर इट्स रिटर्न इन देयर लोकल लैंग्वेज सो टू अवॉइड दिस मार्क वॉट वी हैव टू डू इज विद परमानेंट मार्कर यू राइट डाउन इट्स इंग्लिश नेम For example, you can see over here my all other medicine, amoxicillin, and all other medicines are in English, but this is in local language. So what I have to do is write down its English name to avoid such remarks by PSC. Next, in your hospital, make sure you have posted a valid medical chest certificate. It must be present in hospital. Now, as we have medical oxygen present in our hospital, that is why, as per requirement for oxygen, one MSDS must be displayed in hospital. then as a hospital in charge keep these three four things uh, handy in your hospital scissor permanent marker a normal pen and some tissue paper these are few things which i keep normally in my hospital in my drawers so basically scissor is required to when you want to give some strips medicines from there and then if you want to give some loose medicines then you are required to have tissue paper on tissue paper you are supposed to give the medicines tablets basically then permanent and normal pen is required for this room temperature when you want to write down those temperature now here we have a monthly inspection card of stretcher so every month we must inspect our stretcher and then after noting down the condition we must sign this so here we require permanent marker now next if your vessel is expected to sail in area of black sea make sure you have a different garbage bin for discarded needle as you can see over here i have three garbage bins one is for uh, paper one is for plastic and one is separately for discarded needle this is only normally asked in black sea areas now about expired medicine so as per regulation if you are having any expired medicine on board it shall be properly kept in a box that clearly indicate that it is having expired medicine and next most importantly as per regulation these expired medicine shall be kept in a place that shall be locked and the key shall only be with a medical officer now our hospitals are generally open all times hence it is recommended to not keep these expired medicines in hospital now in psc there have been remarks that hospital toilet was having unpleasant smell and the cold and hot water supply was not proper so as a in charge of hospital make sure proper sanitary standards are maintained in hospital toilet there is no foul smell the toilet is clean there is enough tissue paper hand washing liquid towel these all things must be present in hospital also check your hot and cold water supply in the sink of hospital now lastly we'll sum up the video by stating the last requirement that as per requirement a person who is in charge of hospital must have a valid medicare certificate only then he can be assigned as a medical in charge that's it